Well, hello there, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? I have just come in out of the blizzard. I went out. It was just as nice and wonderful. Even the sun was out. My glasses are just now coming back to their to their still little color. And uh, I got this bowl of snow. It's going to get some more, but I'm telling you. It come up a blowing, and it covered me <laughs> in snow. And you couldn't even tell my footprints. It is like a blizzard conditions up there. It's the wind my hair still wet. Whoo! It's not a fit day for men nor schnauzer out there. Maggie don't like it. All right, folks. I scooped this snow right off top with some clean stuff. I don't ever remember having this, and I know last time I got cheated out of it because we didn't get enough snow. But I took my little Tupperware spoon out there. I dipped off and I just skimmed the top. So hopefully I've got fresh snow. And Mama's gonna make me. Some snow cream for me the first time. For her, I'm she says she she says she's made it lots of times, but I don't remember it. I'm just gonna pour some cream in this container right for my measure. Mommy, you're gonna have to tell them how much. They'll be saying how much. Well, it's about a fourth of a cup. Or a fourth of a cup of, of evaporated milk. Yeah, that's what the can's got in it. I'll pour about a teaspoon of vanilla or no more. About. So we're doing a lot of abouts today. Well, you don't have to. About a teaspoon. What are you going to else? Are you going to put more cream? Uh -huh. And I half a cup of sugar. I'm going to try that. Uh-uh-uh, mama. So far, I'm liking your recipe. So in her little bowl, she's got a Fourth a cup of evaporated milk, canned cream for us, but evaporated milk, it says it right here on here. You say pet cream. And uh, this is a brand new one. Would you have an extra, a little extra in that one? Uh, yeah, I just take the fourth cup. She's got a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a cup of granulated sugar. Yeah. Well, so far it sounds good. And I've got about that much snow. What would you call that? A good pile? <laughs> So if you want to pour it in there and just stir it in. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah, I'll mix it up. I was wanting, I was wanting just to sit here and drink coffee and watch you. Well, I'll do it then. Okay, I'm going to let you. Try to do it gently. Like. Okay. No yellow snow. No, it's yellow now. But I mean outside. This was all fresh, white, off clean surfaces, high okay. off the ground. Now what we do next? Well, I may have to add some more. I don't want to get it too soft soup. You're on your own with this recipe, Mama. You break all the rules yourself because I don't know. My snow's disappearing. Is that what's supposed to happen? Yeah, I think you get a, a little bit more. Ooh, this may go away quick. Okay. Need, I think it needs a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So you're adding what? How much more? Oh, a couple of tablespoons of cream and a tablespoon of sugar. Y'all see what's going on in that bowl, folks? Now we're going to get a bowl and a spoon. Bowl and a spoon. And guess what we're going to put on top of some of this? We're going to add some of those springtime strawberries that we fixed way back. Oh, I'm going to say 12 hours ago. <laughs> when the weather was good, it was 70 degrees. We're going to add some of that strawberries we made last night on the tip top of this. I want cream. you to taste stuff at plain first. Oh, I will, Mama, because I don't ever remember. Now, I remember homemade ice cream looking kind of like this. But as far as eating snow, I think this is my maiden voyage. Oh, no, it's not. Well, there it is, folks. Is that what you all have? Look at that, looks just like vanilla ice cream now. Mama, I'm gonna put some snow out here. Go ahead and eat it. Do you put this in the freezer? You can, but it just gets icy like. Oh, yes, it's crisp like homemade ice cream. All right, here we go, folks. Mama's eating first. If, some, if we don't show up later, you can say, oh, that snow must have killed All right, I'm gonna try it, Mama. Here we go. I said it's I'm got eating snow. Sugar. So you got enough sugar? Mm-hmm. It's really good. 
it's delicious. It is delicious. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. Mm. What it was supposed to taste like. When I think back to all the snows I've wasted in my life. <laughs> Folks, if you got snow on this beautiful March day, make you some snow cream. Mmm. That's good, just like that, Mama. Yeah. Here is part of that uh, freezer jam strawberry preserves that we made last night. It's not been set long enough for Mama to move it, but this is a little jar that didn't get finished. But look here how good and gelled it is. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We're gonna try a little bit of that with this snow cream. You know, I bet this snow cream would even be good in coffee. It's a creamer. There it is. Let's try it. Mmm. Tastes like it. Mmm. Tastes like good homemade strawberry ice cream. Folks, ain't nothing wrong with this snow cream. Now, I worked with a woman. This is traditional. Yeah. This is the way they always have done it. But I worked with a woman one time. She said instead of evaporated milk, she used um, French vanilla coffee flavor. We didn't have stuff like that in this But I bet you, you could use any coffee flavor. Can you imagine Hershey coffee flavor or Reese coffee flavor with snow? Mmm. I love strawberries. And I love this jam. But I believe the plain old vanilla is my favorite. We're finishing up. The strawberry is delicious. But if I had to pick one of the two, I think the vanilla is good. You can also keep it in the freezer. Mama's putting it in the freezer right now in the Tupperware bow. Love snow cream, Debbie. Well, Mama says that she used to make it. I did. We ate it all growing up. I believe you made it and ate it when you was growing up. I don't ever remember going out and getting snow. You never did. I always got it. Now, Mama, even when I was 14, 15. Mm -mm. You think I, maybe you just made it when I was real little. I did. I don't remember, folks. But Mama says we had it. I'm going to say she's right. But I will say this is the first time I ever remember having it. It tastes better than vanilla ever stored. <laughs> it tastes very good. And the strawberry, what do you think about it? Mm. You ain't trying it. I yeah, I thought the sun's out, Mama. I better run out there and get us some snow so we can make that snow cream. And, uh, Buddy, when I got out there, the sun left, the wind picked up, it covered me up. Even the tracks and the snow was gone. It was so windy. He looks like Frosty. <laughs> He's all like, get this bowl. <laughs> get this bowl, I can't even see. <laughs> Love snow cream. We grew up eating this every time it snowed, and I didn't. But I bet I will now. Every time it snows, I'll be headed out with a bow. Mmm. Mama, you did good. Mommy never would let us see snow cream out of first snow. But. Said it wasn't good. Wasn't had, healthy and stuff. Had to clean the air. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Well, I think it's delicious, Mama. Mine's nailed it now. How about yours? Oh, yeah. One of you added cream and vanilla flavor and sugar to water if it would taste this good. Probably would. <laughs> Snow cream, folks, on March the 12th. It ain't wonderful that we can entertain such wonderful seasons and we can have 
snow cream in March, and we can have 70 degrees in December sometimes. We live in a diverse little area. Now see, it's just all water now. I'm gonna put that in my coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, this ain't a whole cup, mama. This is just a little starter cup. This is just what was left over, and it's cold actually, but I'm gonna try it. Tastes like cream coffee with vanilla. Tastes like kind of like French vanilla coffee. Almost. It's good. Folks, we are going to cook today. Some of y'all say we hardly ever cook. We do cook. I've got um, uh, the pot of bullying over here. Mama cut up some, uh, we had some beef in the freezer, and it was Mark. Uh, beef for stir fry? Mm -hmm. So it was in long pieces. I, I chopped them up. The bullying beef. I chopped them up, and it was probably just a piece of flank steak. Cubes, what were we in cube steak? Flank yeah, steak? Probably. probably flank steak we had cut up and put in the freezer. Anyway, Mama started it boiling. I took it out and cut no, it up. I bought it that way. I don't know what kind. Oh, you bought it in a pack that way? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I cut it up, put it back in there. So far in that pot over there is boiling beef or meat for stir fry is what it said. And uh, I put a, about two tablespoons of Dale's seasoning. And I put a little bit of nature seasoning for some seasoning. Dash of salt, a dash of black pepper. And of course about a cup <coughs> of coffee and about a half a cup you of- You put more coffee? You did. No, I'm trying to say I put coffee. Mama put the coffee and then I put about, and she put about a half a cup of water. And then I put Dale's seasoning. <coughs> And uh, nature seasoning, and about a just about a probably a dash dash of nature seasoning, probably equivalent of half a tablespoon. Get that, and it's boiling away over there and getting tender. And we're going to turn that into a pot of beef vegetable soup. As soon as I saw that snow this morning, my mind went to I sure would like to have some good homemade vegetable soup. I didn't said it, what, about a week ago? Yeah. I had then decided some vegetable soup should have been in our future. So, it's 11 o'clock now. We'll probably work on that. that. It's not ready yet, is it, Mama? No. I don't think it it's is. boiling good. So, we'll come back when we start making the vegetable soup. And we will have some homemade beef vegetable soup. What are you all up to today? Let's see what you're saying. People have snow cream machines. Really, Linda? Did not know that. Hello, Jolene. How are you? Hey, Ruth. I'll have to travel north to ever have any. It doesn't snow in McDavid, Florida. Wow. Too often. Well, Ruth, I'm just going to tell you the truth. We're kind of just making the best of a bad situation because we ain't too crazy about this snow in March. We're going to take it and feel blessed that we live to see it. I swear you guys have gotten more snow this year. I know, that's the truth, Tony. We have gotten tons of snow. Um, I sure wouldn't travel to it, Ruth. I would just hang right there and get me some good old vanilla ice cream. You can buy the churn, homemade churn churned stone. ice cream. It's kind of tasty. It's good, for but I don't know cream. if I would travel for snow for it. 41 degrees in Zachary, Louisiana. Janice, that is... Uh, what we double. We, we got 24 degrees right now, and I think this is our high today. So whatever we have out there, whatever's melted, um, and not much is melted, but uh, they scraped, and then the sun came out, and a little bit came off the roads, because the roads were already warm from yesterday and from the weeks before. But anything that's out there is going to freeze back as soon as the sun goes down, and that's what worries me a little bit is the freezing. We started out with sleet, so that's kind of worrisome too. Good morning, Peggy. How are you? Good morning, Pamela. That's Pamela Hackler. Hello. Well, hello, Pamela. Hey, Jenny. How are you? Uh, today, uh, the Alice's uh, rather be home making soup like you all are. All right. Jenny, I'm sure you would. Uh, my daddy had to go to Dallas three times a week. 
He didn't even like to call it dialysis. He would say he was going to work. And his girls. Mama, have me that rag, please. I've got some snow cream right there that's a sticky filling. I guess that's sugar. Thank you. Um, he would say he was going to work, and he called the nurses uh, his the girls at work. And I said that was just his way of taking some of the have to out of it. But uh, he would say, you're going to make a cake for my girls at work. And Mom would say, well, sure I will. So she would make a cake, and he would take it. Uh, to them and they enjoyed it but yeah he done that three days a week for, almost for nine, years. nine and a half years almost ten years um, so our hearts go out to you we know um, what what you're going through a little bit we've not had to go through it ourselves but we do know how he was and how tired it makes you and just let's just send up a bunch of hearts for her and send up a bunch of hearts for everybody who's facing any kind of treatments and that kind of stuff um, it changes your life when you have dedicated attention to three days a week and you, there's nothing really you can do about it. Um, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. But thank God we have technology that will allow us to have that option. I mean, my dad, he had 10 additional years that he wouldn't have had without that. And he had a good life during most of those 10 years. Probably eight of them was right on target for him. And uh, the last two, he had a little situation that caused him to be a little bit more uh, troublesome. But he had a good life, and uh, I'm thankful that dialysis is a part of this world that we can use it. Mama, what are you going to eat now? I don't. Oh, I'm going to let this digest. I oh, I thought she was. I thought she was going to eat that uh, strawberry preserves out of that jar. No. She just get the spoon out. No, I'm not going to be that peakish. Good morning, Nancy. How are you? I'm watching from Southern Pines, North Carolina, and it's cold here. Sun is shining. Well, the sun is shining here off and on, but the temperature still says 24. Let's see here. Who? It says, I work. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see who this is. It? I worked in the diocese clinic for a couple of years. Our patients bought us gifts all the time. We love our patients. Melissa, you become family. Um, you really do. You become family because you're with the dialysis patients three days a week, most of the time for six to eight hours. And uh, our dialysis girls, as dad would call them, was like family. And uh, they would even come to the house. We've even had them here. Uh, for get-togethers and parties and events and stuff that we would have in the past. They would come and uh, our family knew them and, and they truly were like family. Uh, so, yeah, it's important and you all are important. We thank you for what you do. Um, hey, Brian, how are you? Good morning from Gardner, Massachusetts. Is it cold up there, Brian? Hey, Becky. 30 there. Well, you're warmer than we are. You're having a heat wave. Uh, my toes are cold, Susan. Mine are too. After coming in out of that snow, <laughs> his feet was covered. His have, you ever, have you ever heard of a whiteout when it's snowing and you can't see because it's blowing? Mama, you want me to look me? I'm going to get that sticky out. I didn't got the sticky. Oh, well, there you go. Um, let's try this copy again. Well, that snow cream certainly did not hurt that cold coffee. Um, no, it tastes pretty good, actually. Um, what was I saying? It had to be terribly important. Anyway, whatever I was saying. Um, yesterday was 70, 68, 69 is what I seen on there, but someone was saying that's in 70. Today is 24, and tomorrow we're supposed to be warm again. But I tell you what you get tomorrow, you got a whole extra day of daylight. Tomorrow, not today, we'll lose a day today, an hour today, and then tomorrow we'll get uh, a little bit more daylight. A little bit more daylight for our trouble. Uh, daylight savings time. I guess daylight savings time is my favorite of the two, uh, standard or daylight savings, but I really wish, this is just my personal opinion, I really wish we would just quit switching it. Uh, if they did, not switch it, we'd probably be on the time where I'm right now. Standard. We'll probably just go back to standard and they would just end daylight savings. Um, but I, 
that switching back and forth, I don't really think it, it's beneficial. I think at one time it probably was, but now it's not. Mama, don't you want her off? Oh, I'm not wondering off. No, Mama, you would. Oh, I wouldn't do you that way. You had before. Mama went and talked on the phone and everything. Just leave us hanging. What did she? Y'all were here. <laughs> You're such a blabber, Mal. Oh, good morning, Stacey. How are you? It's so good to visit with you all. Y'all warm up this day, no matter how cold and how snowy it is. I don't know what time we'll be finishing this soup, but if you want to cook with us, this ain't a cook along exactly. But if you do, won't you? Put you some uh, stew beef or bull and beef or. If you just want vegetables, vegetables. Or vegetable soup. Now, I like just putting on vegetable soup too. Uh, we're going to cook our potatoes in a separate pot. And the reason we do that is we don't want that starch in there. Well, Mama's back. Let me get her back in the picture. Oh, that's not my last And we don't want that starch in our vegetable soup. And it, it makes it, I don't want to say thin, it just keeps it from thickening for the next day, too. Now, when you put your potatoes in there, day one, you don't notice that much about it with the, to, with the tomato juice and everything in it. But when you put it in the refrigerator overnight and you get it out the next day, it's a lot thicker. I don't like it that way. Some people like a good, thick, hearty vegetable soup. I like plenty of good tomato juice. Uh, Mama don't know it yet, but I'm thinking. Wow, what do I don't know? I'm thinking, Mama, that that vegetable soup would be awfully good with some Mexican cornbread muffins. Oh, you think it would? Do y'all think, if y'all think it does, in the, Put us up some hearts or something. Let Mama know she needs to make some Mexican <laughs> cornbread muffins today. <laughs> I'll even let you get by with just making a pound of it if you want to, Mama. Oh, wow. I just think that would be awful tasty, don't y'all? Those little cornbread muffins, those Mexican cornbread muffins she makes. One day for lunch, that's all I took was Mexican cornbread. And it was Absolutely. like... Absolutely, that's all he took. And it was like eating a little casserole in my hand. It had the corn, it had the cheese, it had the flavors. It was delicious. And I told her then, I said, we need this in our lives more often. Probably not, really, but for the flavor and the taste and the goodness, it was awfully, awfully good. I said, surely you're taking something besides the cornbread muffins. Nope, that's all I want. That's all I want. Uh, and the, Mama makes them so good. Her little recipe last time, we changed it around a little bit. We had a whole can of cream style corn, but I think it made it good. He wants it. Put in right yeah, I told her last one, so write this one down <laughs> because <laughs> this is a good recipe. You'll have to go ahead and watch the video, Mama, mm -hmm. just to make sure. If you change something on your daddy and he liked it better, you had to really write it down and fix it that way the next time. Yeah, he was rougher character than I was, so he yeah. would be like, This time tastes like before. No. I just go right ahead and eat it. But he would, wouldn't he? No, yeah. That's how we ended up with uh, your chicken casserole. No, uh, broccoli. My broccoli casserole. My broccoli casserole. She was out of something. The cream of chicken soup in the can. I used chicken gravy and something, and something else. And he said, well, what have you did? It's better change it. So when we have mom's broccoli casserole that dad liked. It's the name of it in the cookbook, I think. And so it's different than the other broccoli caster on the other page. It's the original recipe. Hello from Snowy Crystal. Where are you at, Virginia? Did you say Virginia Crystal? I'm almost afraid to touch this thing. Is it doing better? It, it seems like it is. Mom, I don't know what was wrong with it a while ago. Earlier. Was but it's it not. Nice Vermont! Night? Crystal, you're from Vermont. Um, snowstorms in Vermont? I'd say so. I've never been blessed to get to Vermont, but that's one of my location destinations. Love to go to Vermont, New England, up in, that would be a wonderful trip. I'm all for the Mexican cornbread. Nola, thank you for your vote of confidence. Mama, we got one. Well, thank you for the stars, Terry. Uh, Y'all are so gracious to give stars. Speaking of stars, uh, here are the four winners. Waiting for Mama to sign. See, I've got my work done. Here's your, the envelopes. I won't show the addresses. 
Uh, and we're going to send these out, Lord willing, Monday when the snow's gone. Yeah, I was uh, thinking about taking them today to get them going the next day, but you know that snow changed my mind. See, I, the ice that come first changed my mind. I have written on them, and Mama's got a sign. That's her job. Mama, I've done my part, and you get a sign and stuff. I know, and put them in there, and off I go. But no, I can't Monday morning. We well, we can do them Monday. I'll take them Monday. I'll take them to Monday. Good morning. Uh, cook something. What does it say? Let's cook something to, to good today. Judy, we're going to have some homemade vegetable soup. Thank you, Angela, for those stars. Uh, we're using the star money to buy the cookbooks to give to you all. So it's a circle of love. Uh, the church gets money from it. You all get cookbooks. And we just appreciate you all for sending the stars. Thank you, Joe Ellen. Joellen Blevins. I just love Joellen's name. In the South, we love double names. You know, Betty Jane, Mary Lou, Joellen. They're so, I just love them. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mine's the way. Um, if, if I'd had a little girl, and my wife would have let me, um, I always wanted to name her after my grandparents. My grandmother was Lena. And my grandpa was Caleb. So I always thought what a beautiful southern name it would be to have a little girl named Lena Kay. And uh, if y'all want to borrow that name, feel free. Uh, Lee was going to name us. We'd had a little girl, Donna Kay. Because Dad was Donna. So uh, a little girl named after both Dad and my grandpa. But I always thought what a sweet name Lena Kay would have been. Uh, for a little girl. And if you had a little boy, you could have named him Caleb. After my papa. Good morning. Hey, Mama Joe, what did the cops say to the belly? Sherry, let me read this. Uh, hey, Mom. What did the cops say to his... What did the cops say to his belly button? I couldn't, I couldn't make that out because my white shirt what did the cop say, say to his belly button. button. It's hard to read with white, with the white letters. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, oh. What did the cop say to his belly button, Mama? Stick it up. <laughs> Stick it. He said, you're under a vest. Under a vest. Oh, Lord. Sure, I thought that was funny. It is. Good huh? morning from Maine. Laura, you're in another destination location Ooh. for me. Uh, my great granddaughter' name is Lila Jane. Beautiful. Well, that is pretty. Marty, that is beautiful. Your grandma's name was Jane. My grandmother's name was Jane. My Lena granny's Jane. name was Lena Jane. Uh, so that would be another Lila Jane. Lena Jane, what I could have just named her straight up right after her. Uh, I like Mary Beth. That's a beautiful name too, Pat. Yeah. Sammy Joe, yes, I like that joy. I know a Sammy Joe. Hey, Mama, why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? With a broken pencil? Oh, Joy, that's funny. How's the words would be all scrambly? <laughs> why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil, Mama? Uh, well, I don't know. The because, word... Mama, it's pointless. Oh, yes. Joy, that's a perfect word. That I love is that. Great. Yeah, that we is love great. the jokes y'all share. That is great. I just about quit getting one together because I think the friends will have one. They'll have good ones. They'll have better <laughs> ones than what I can come up with. I've told so many they're hard to find. Mm -hmm. My Mexican cornbread recipe has ground beef in it. Oh, I've not had that. And all you need with it is a pot of pintos. I'd be happy to send it. Well, I can't read the rest of it, Karen, but yes, send that. Karen Holloway, send us that recipe. That sounds definitely like a casserole you could hold in your hand. Seven inches of snow here in Manorville, Tennessee. Yeah, oh. Patricia? I would say with the drifts out here, we've got some six and sevens, but I think probably if you just, the flat areas, probably around five, we had a pretty good little show in the snow. Pittsburgh, PA, Angelo. Pittsburgh, PA, hello. Got about four or five inches of snow Thursday. Really, you yeah, answer's early. What recipes are you making for Easter dinner? 
And do you make anything special for St. Patrick's Day? Mama does make St. Patrick's Jello salad, usually with a green, like a, I think they call it, um, we just call it green salad, pistachio with the marshmallows and yeah, that's just a pistachio salad. With with maraschino cherries. Uh, it's got marshmallows in them. What's the you use some kind of pudding or jello mix with it? It's the pistachio. Pistachio. It's a pretty little grain with some red on it. We can make that for Christmas too. But Mama usually makes something for St. Patrick's Day grain. For Easter, you know, I don't know uh, what. Well, Mike, thank you for those stars, uh, Joetta. Um, Mama, are we, you know, I guess that's kind of... We always have the deviled eggs and mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and beans and probably a ham. And pineapple casserole. Pineapple casserole. Or we might just have a beef roast this year. We might do beef roast, mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, green beans, pineapple... Well, we don't know if we'll do pineapple casserole if we don't have ham. Uh, we may keep it simple. We used to. We back, had ham and turkey and everything when we had a lot of. Potatoes. Back before COVID, we used to have the whole family here on Easter and on Christmas. So Easter was a big deal. We made a huge lunch, and then we had an egg hunt out in the yard. Dad used to raise rabbits, lots of little bunnies. So he would make sure that he had a bunch of babies that were old enough to play with on Easter every year. And we would go to the barn and we would get bunnies out. And every kid got a bunny not to take home unless they had somewhere to keep it. Dad wouldn't care for them taking it, but he was picky. He wanted to make sure they had a good home. Uh, but they would all get bunnies and we'd take pictures and they'd play out here in the pasture field. And we have some beautiful pictures of bunnies and babies from days gone by and uh, that was always something we did that was special i love watergate salad thank you cindy That's what it is. cindy is that cindy with two e's thank you it's watergate salad i knew it had a different name it says pistachio pudding hey angela Britt, how are you good morning again it's good to see you too angela Britt. angela's the one that has sent us all that good stuff and some new sure. stuff I've been enjoying. We gotta make it pea soup sometimes. That split you? pea soup that Angela sent. I think that, that would be good. That would be good. We can make that any time. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Evelyn, how are you? Hello from Dallas, Linda. Y'all didn't get snow, did you? Someone said earlier Texas was cold, but no snow. Watergate salad. That's it, Jamie. Yeah. Watergate salad. Uh, I think the zip code is 37762, but you should check that first. Becky, if you're talking about hours, that's correct. It's P.O. Box. Here, let me just get the little. Let me get the little sign out here. I still don't know which is which. This is the sign. Send it. If you're looking for a cookbook, it's John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee 37762. Actually, this is our only address. Um, for all things coffee time, John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Joker, Tennessee, 37762. This is for the recipes you want to send. This is for the Dear John and Mama letters. This is for the children's recipes. Um, and the Hey Mama jokes, if you want to mail us one in, we'll read it here. Um, we'd love to have some more children's recipes. Uh, if your child is little, ask them how they make their favorite thing. And it's always, a, and just write down what they say, don't change it. I love it when they you just write down exactly what they tell you. And um, we'll try to read some of them on, on here. And uh, if your child's older and they're actually cooking, we'd love to have some recipes from those 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 year olds that have said, look what I make, any age. From, what's that Christmas song from, from 10 to 99 or something? I, don't know. I always yeah. thought I'd be mad if I turned 100 and I didn't, wasn't in the song anymore. <laughs> uh, send us your uh, recipes. If your child makes it, send it, send that to us. We would love to share. So we may even cook some of them. Now, most of the time we can't cook the little guys' recipes. You can't hardly make macaroni and cheese for 16 hours. But 
Uh, we got about four inches in Kentucky up, Betty. We got four to five here. I don't know what happened. Was your house in the back when you... I don't know if my house was in the back. Oh, was that my house? No, 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 no. You can't see my house from Mama's. Um, last Saturday, about this time, we were outside planting lettuce and onions, and it was warm and beautiful and windy. Windy. Blowing my hair off my head. Blowing Mama's <laughs> hair all over her head. Mama, you're over there. Oh, I know it. I drift off. I went to start the meat and checked on it for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of those big glue traps for mice. And I'm gonna nail them to her stool and I'm gonna put one on the floor here. That way when I get her standing there, she'll stick. I won't, she won't have to I won't be able to move. Hummingbird cake, I've never made it, but I love it. There used to be yeah. a place that we would buy uh, hummingbird cake homemade. Yeah, what is church. pineapple casserole? Sandra, we've done several videos on it. It's a basic, easy, easy casserole. You just take, we don't go with the recipe. Because the recipe says all kinds of stuff that I don't do. Uh, it says tidbits. I use crushed pineapple. It says drain it. I don't drain it. I use a can of crushed pineapple, a cup of sugar, and five tablespoons of stuffed rice and flour. And I stir that all in my casserole dish. And then I bake that for about 20 minutes to bubbling and good and then I take townhouse or Ritz crackers and I crumble them up and I put a half a stick of butter melt it and put those crackers in it and roll that around and I take the top of that topping cover it with cheddar cheese I use that out of the pack most of the time but you can grate it fresh and then I put those crackers over top of that that's in that butter and put it back in the oven for another five or so minutes until those crackers brown and that's pineapple casserole. That's the whole recipe. We, don't know. we went back on mama. That's how easy it is to fix too. It takes about 35 minutes to do the whole process. Can I buy a cookbook please? Yes, surely you can send it to that address that I just showed you, $17 total. That includes shipping and everything and you can uh, send it to, isn't this fancy? No, this is fancy. <laughs> Piece of notebook paper. John Davis, <laughs> P.O. Box 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee, 37762. If that looks good to you, screenshot it. If this looks good to you, screenshot that one. So John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee, 37762. You can make your check or money order out to OMBC, which stands for Oswego Missionary Baptist Church, or John Davis or Francis Davis, Mama's the Treasurer, and we will take that directly to the bank. Sandra, thank you for the stars. And it all gets deposited. And they've really never questioned however you made the check out. Either OMBC to John Davis to Francis Davis or to Oswego Church. I guess or, if we try to cash it, they might. We never always, cash anything. It's always deposited into the church Everything's account. direct deposit. Donna Wallace, turn it around. I did both ways. Donna, this is an age-old situation. I've turned it that way and people say that's good and I turn it the other way and people say no that's good I think it just got something to do with the way we view there is now a button on the bottom of mine that's got a camera and it turning I guess I could maybe touch that and something would happen we may give that a try but you know the other night I tried some new microphones and it cut y'all off but I thought I destroyed all of Facebook I thought surely that's what he told me he said it's all gone <laughs> I said it's all gone we'll probably never be seen again <laughs> uh, you never know when you're messing with technology. Do you have Venmo or some other? No, I'm sorry. I know that's old fashioned and we are. And I, what everybody is, tells me, I, I've lost who said that. What is it that they say? Venmo. I don't know what that is. It's an electronic bank account that people can access and, and pay through. <laughs> Like PayPal, PayPal, Venmo, those things. Um, we should. We really should. I understand. But we just never have. Cindy, um, well, thanks the for the church, stars. We never. The church really didn't like the idea of it. Noodles and the vegetable soup? Yes, elbow macaroni, I'm sure. 
is what it'll be. Mama, is that what you do? Elbow macaroni. Um, the church didn't like the idea because we looked into it and it could be hacked and you had to, you know, transfer your funds out of the Venmo or it could. They said if we could just do checks or money, that would probably be it. So that's what we decided. Good morning, Esther. How are you? Um, our the meat is going, and uh, we're gonna let that boil for an hour or so just to make it real good and tender. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, you could also put it in a pressure cooker. You could we could put it in our microwave pressure cooker for the Tupperware microwave pressure cooker, or you could put it in an instant pot or something like that. But we're in no hurry. We have nowhere to go literally today. It is snowing. Can't, don't even know if we can get out. Ice on the bottom. Ice on the bottom. So uh, it's just an easy, simple Saturday here with a pot of soup going. And we're going to show y'all what I would put in it in just a little while. And we just got the meat boiling. It, it could probably, it's been boiling long enough now we could probably make soup right now. But we're going to wait a little while. We'll come back with a live with a, a hot beef and vegetable soup. And uh, maybe some Mexican cornbread. Gotta see if I've got everything. I got the cornbread mix, but I don't know about the cream style corn. Oh, I will leave that out, Mama. We'll just use it. Won't be the same texture. Can't you make cream style corn? Can I make it? <laughs> I mean, like with a can of corn? I guess you can mash it up or blend it up. Put a little bit of grits in a can of whole kernel. Ew. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> I don't know. But we can, we can, we'll have some kind of cornbread. Not my curiosity, though. I'm going to have to check. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're getting ready to say goodbye. <laughs> now watch her. Nail her to this counter. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I've sat here too long. I know. She's like a worm in hot ashes, as my granny used to say. I'd be squirming around. She's like, you're like a worm in hot ashes. Would you please be still? I missed the snow cream. Uh, came in at seven minutes. Sorry, Carolyn. If you got to hurry on snow cream. It would have been water cream. But we did it, and I tasted it, and I found it delicious. And um, it's you can go back and do a replay. I will post this so y'all can watch it again. I'm making vegetable soup too, Nancy. Wow. Uh, what are you putting in yours? Hers probably been good. Um, I can't see what you said, Ruth. Okay, Stephanie, five inches in length, and that's about right. That's about what we got. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Hey, Shirley. Blessings to you all, too. Folks, we're going to say goodbye before Mama runs off, but she's going to go check out that tub. Mexican cornbread. We'll come back with some kind of cornbread because I know one thing we have back there and I love it. Love, love, love it is sweet onion cornbread or vidalia cornbread. So if nothing else, we'll make a pound of onion cornbread. I don't have that. I've got... We got sweet onions. Do we have... Yeah, we've got honey cornbread. Honey cornbread. You know, the sweet. What's that for? We fix it. Oh, you mean the package stuff? Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking about where you just take your, your uh, skillet and you lay your onions in there and you pour your cornbread on top of that and oh, you bake you your cornbread. I, if nothing else, I'll have onion cornbread today. But I'd like to have some Mexican cornbread muffins. Okay. But now I'll take a Mexican cornbread pound because it was just as good. The muffins is just brown or all the way Exactly, and they're just like bread. eating a little casserole in your hand. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. So, we'll definitely have vegetable soup, and we'll have some kind of cornbread now. It's it's a snow day. we got to do something special. <laughs> Folks, we'll be back. I've got to have more coffee. Mama's got to go in there and prowl around in the pantry and see what she has. You all cooking up something good today. Enjoy this snow day. And if you don't have snow, cook up something good anyway. Enjoy yeah, March 12th. Whether it's snowy or not. That's exactly right. Find you something good to do today. Enjoy it. Make some memories with your family. Do something nice out there today. If you got beautiful weather, then do something a little extra for the rest of us. I couldn't get outside. We got getting into a snowstorm. He looked like Frosty when he got in. He was funny. It was serious. <laughs> Maggie's like, I don't like this. Maggie's, Maggie is a green grass summer 
sunshiny girl. She wants to go out. She will lay in the green grass on a sunshiny day, six or eight hours. She don't care a bit to stay out there all day, does she, Mom? No, you have to watch her and stuff. I don't care to sit out there and watch her drink coffee. I love the way she does. She's just like a little old lady sitting at the park. She'll go out and she'll lay in the sun, and you'll just see her. And then in a minute, you'll see her, she'll go over, and there's a shadow of the well out front. We got a little wishing well out there. She'll go over and she'll lay in the edge of that shadow where it's cooler. And she'll get cold, and she'll get up, and she'll curl back over in the sun, and she'll lay there. You can see her enjoying the sun, and she gets a little hot, and she goes back to the shadow. She's amazing. She's just amazing. But anyway, she votes no on snow. She don't. She thinks she wants to play it until she realizes how cold it is. But she now Maggie, hates rain. Hates oh, rain. Rain's worse than snow. She will get out in the snow. The rain, it's always a 50-50 shot if she's going to go or not. She don't like it. And you can't put an umbrella on. Oh, she hates umbrellas. I don't know if somebody's hurt her with one. Now, we've not had her always. She was a rescue. But she... Uh, but you can't use an umbrella. Oh, no umbrellas. Mm -mm. No, she won't. She, mm -mm. She's terrified to death of them. Uh-uh, she don't like them. Never heard of onion cornbread? Kathy, it's good. It's real good. I've made it on here. There's a video on Facebook of, of I think it was that day at onion cornbread. It's, what it's, called. it's just nothing but fried onions with your cornbread poured on top of it and baked. Oh, is that pocket. the set out of your ring? I mean, I wished it was. It's my phone slid out of my pocket the way I'm sitting here. Oh well, it's just your phone. <laughs> Let's go check on Mama's phone. Y'all have a great day. Find you something good to eat and make you some memories. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you and all. Bye bye.